so often you hear me talk about the monkey mind and the monkey mind if you've been to some of my meetups is an untrained state of mind it's a busy mind with lots of thought activity or it can be a worrying mind and everything in between so there's different states of the monkey mind and yeah if for instance uh, there is a busy mind let's say you're affected by a busy mind there's constant thought activity there's this mental chatter all the time it looks like you can't turn it off even in the evening when you get home to your family you know, there's still this mental noise and chatter and it may even start during the night you wake up at 3 a.m whatever right and then you notice oh my goodness and then this thing is ringing and <laughs> you can't sleep so yeah on one side obviously um, you may have heard about stress reduction uh, tools uh, in particularly everything that is raising awareness calming the mind things like breathing exercises meditation and so on so this is obvious stuff but did you know that on the other hand you also need a body that can produce a sufficient amount of energy so the body actually, and I refer to the body usually as the hardware, needs to be in good shape. So it's not sufficient that you update the software or you increase awareness, uh, which is of course helpful, but it's also the body needs energy. And where's that energy coming from? Well, the energy comes from your mitochondria. These are little organelles in your cell and they produce in this vast distributed network there is 100,000 trillion mitochondria in your body. It's this huge community and they all produce energy. And think about them all together as like a battery. It's producing roughly about, uh, your body is producing about what comparable to what one AA battery is producing. And that energy is needed actually to get into a calm state of mind so you need energy to get in a calm state of mind and for these mitochondria to function well and to function properly they need a lot of cofactors they need things like for instance magnesium this is one of my favorite examples because most people i talk with when we do some assessment and it always turns out there's a lack of magnesium this is just one there's 40 others <laughs> right and so you need all of them in the right amount or in the right dosage to be able to produce energy. And of course, this is only like if, if you have all these materials, uh, yeah, the body can do something, but of course it might be that the quality and quantity of your mitochondria are also uh, affected. They may not be in good shape and so on. So it's much more complex. But my point here is there are certain micronutrients that you should be aware of that can be quite helpful for calming the mind, for increasing focus. And this is the topic of one of our next uh, upcoming meetups, maximizing brain performance. So we'll actually drill into this a little bit. We'll talk about uh, a few of these micronutrients and what you can do and yeah, how you can take advantage of these things. And so that's what we want to go into. I encourage you to check it out. And yeah, don't get uh, uh, into this flawed thinking of, oh yeah, I, I eat well, I maybe I buy organic food and I think my diet is in pretty good shape. No, that's not going to cut it. Micronutrients are usually deficient in our today's uh, standard nutrition, even in upgraded nutrition, you need usually extra cofactors. It's that bad. Yeah, I mean, science, uh, if you start digging into this, which I did in the past 10 years, you see that nowadays nutrition lacks a lot of these micronutrients. And then people are wondering why they can't, for instance, getting into a calm state of mind. It's simply there is not enough energy there. So this is what I want to talk about in the next upcoming meetup. I encourage you, if the topic resonates with you, to be there. We'll keep it very relatively on a, on a level that is uh, appropriate for someone who's just starting into this topic. 
but for those who are already a little bit deeper in there will also of course deep dive in a few aspects on this so that everyone can get something out so check it out link is uh, below and i hope to see you there